So thinking about what aircraft I wanted to make, I decided to just fly a bunch to see how I felt and what just clicked for me. And as soon as I jumped on the A4 Skyhawk, the very first thought that went through my mind was just thinking, how great this aircraft looks, how it feels, and the crazy amount of things you can do with this. And the best part is, this is a free to download mod for DCS. Seriously, I know I've said this a lot in other videos I've made showing off some other free mods, but the A4 just puts the icing on the cake. Also the fact that you can actually fly this on Enigma's Cold War server, which happens to be one of the most populated servers on DCS. And they've done this because they themselves have recognized how well polished this mod is. Now, when I put out my first A4 video, I just wanted to get the video out there as soon as possible before the hype started to like die down once they added it to the server. But honestly, when I was getting my latest recordings, I found that the A4 hype is still there. Every time I would work on a recording, I would always find the server having roughly three to five other players flying this aircraft. And there's still plenty of people out there sharing content about this aircraft. So in today's video, I'm going to continue that hype by showing a mixture of air to ground combat as well as finding myself in air to air combat so sit back relax and as always enjoy all right guys back in enigma's cold war we're uh jumping Chief, turn on the ground power. in al damari air base because it seems like they took the anzaria sector the sector ground 614 so our mission right now since the servers restarted not a lot of players on it right now i think it's just like a total of maybe eight we're basically going to just try to take care of the front lines here as best as we can before the servers start to really fill up and then after that we can start you know doing some more air patrol like combat air patrols or something like that some cap uh, what do i want to run though is the question i think i want to run well, let's get this aircraft, like, started, started. I guess what we'll do is... Bombs, we'll do the cluster bombs. Three of those. We'll, I guess we will just keep air-to-air -air missiles on us, just in case. And then bombs right here. <laughs> I guess I'll do... I'll go a little over... Uh... Well, I, uh what do I want to do? Yeah, screw it. We're going to do it. We're going to have two 2,000 pound bombs on our wings, on our inner pylon wings. And the last thing I got to do is put trim all the way up. And then flaps are going to go to half. And this I didn't know in my first A4 video when you have it set up like that with the flaps at half and the trim nose to, I guess, all the way up. That basically allows you to do like what the F-18 is capable of doing when it takes off the ground. When you have the trim all set properly, you could, at a certain speed, if you don't pull up with your joystick, it'll actually do it for you automatically. I knew about the flaps, actually. I didn't know about the trim, but the trim is definitely the biggest key for you to be able to take off with any sort of, like, weight capacity. Because I would look at for videos, like, actual, like, real-life videos of this aircraft and seeing what their payloads are. The people that have, like, you know, people that have, like, 12 GBU-82s, or Mark-82s, Mark-82s, um, and it'd be ridiculous. All right, we're pretty much lined up here. Let's start... Pedal to the metal. Turn on my RWR because I know I'm going to forget it. I think it gets to like 120 or 115. Yeah, it's going to start. I'm not even touching the joystick right now. And there it goes. I'll take over it now because sometimes it just pitches a little too violently high. So you kind of have to control it a little bit. I'll take it, put my gears up. Start to put my flaps up and slowly start working the trim. Cloud cover is a little annoying. Not terrible though. Not as bad as what it could be. Ooh, I'm getting locked on by something. Let's 
Jesus, what did I just get hit by? Nobody's near me. Oh, that's what's... Okay, that's a Shulka right there. Yeah, there he is. Alright. So, we're going to switch to cluster munitions and right, drop it on these guys. Oh, wow. There's actually a lot of targets on this road. Okay. I didn't know that. Alright. Well, I ain't going to be very effective this way. those bombs went off or not nope I don't know what the heck that was all about oh they were very short this damn shulka really screwed me over you know what I'm just gonna keep an eye okay that's where he is all right so s switch in my computer got screwed up from getting hit like that I had to go see the computer system is pretty neat what you do is you basically you put your pipper on the target you hold the weapon release button and what that does is it tells the bombs, okay, we want you to release here. And what you can do is basically start lifting up. And when you start lifting up, that'll let the bombs know, okay, n now release your weapons. Uh, the only problem is right now, I think, again, my thing is you have to, the, the key is you have to do this at like more a steeper angle, like more like this. Let's see how this goes. Got, I got two vehicles there. Two trucks at least. Well, RTB, because what, what's happening is my, my aircraft's damaged and I was shifting over to the right. So when I released, the bombs released, they were gonna go more to the right. So there's a spoiler flap, which basically, I, I don't know if we're going to show it. I don't know if <laughs> uh, DCS replay doesn't work very well. But uh, there's spoilers on the top of the wings that act like more air brakes. But it seems like the only way you can activate them is when all wheels are on the ground. So they're basically like another type of chute that you can use. It really slows you down because wheel brakes are pretty weirdly like weak in this aircraft. <laughs> like, listen to that. I'm brakes are full on, air brakes are out, flaps are down, spoilers are out, and I'm holding the wheel brakes, and it's it's just like you just hear that screeching. Just look how slow that is to stop. Anyway, I'm uh, not sure if that's like accurate or not. It just seems a little weak, in my opinion. I don't know. Let me know in your thoughts in the comments below. Um, because this aircraft is designed to actually take off and land on aircraft carriers. You know, here's your here's your drop hook right here. What do you call it exactly? Hook handle. Like, look at that. Even that, it's like skidding. Huh. Interesting. Weird. All right. What we'll do now is we'll just rearm, refuel, and repair because we did take a little damage. You just want to make sure we're in a fresh aircraft. And uh, we'll go back out there. I already marked on the map of where those targets were. So we're going to just make sure that we get to that general area. Yeah, this cloud is just perfectly like right in the way. So we got targets way out there. We got these guys right here. I think these guys right here I'm looking at is who I want to take out. Although I do know these guys, yeah, you can actually see my bomb craters. These are the first guys. You know what? Since they're right here and I can get a better... The steeper the dive, the more accurate you'll get because it will 
read the ground better. If you do it at a shallow dive, the computer will have a little bit harder time compensating. These bouncer bombs are really hard to like work with. So I'm going to go right in between that bunker and these guys right here. So I'm going to go like right here. It's bombs away. Oh yeah, that took out everyone. There was two trucks I took out earlier. All right, that growling noise that you might have just heard was actually the other Shulka. It might have been the one I just shot at, but their Shulka's like over here, so that's them locking on to me. Oh yeah, look at all that, that's gone. Gone, 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 gone. Perfect. All right, and I do realize I looked at the tripwire, I do have a frog foot nearby about 15 miles out, so I wanna keep looking at that making sure that he doesn't get any closer. Yeah, there he is, 118 for 15 miles. Angel's 10, he's a little high, but he's going cold. All right, where's our next targets? I think I wanna take out these guys right here. Yeah, that bottom one there is Shulka. It's quite a bit of armor. Actually, I think they're more like, they're more like heavy tanks, but I just wasted my 2,000 pound bombs. But at least I could take care of, like, maybe a truck and a, uh, the bunker, at least. It looks like both these areas have shulkas. All right, so same concepts with the uh, cluster munition. You just point and you shoot. But this time I'm doing more like a single ripple. So one's going to drop, and then the next one's going to drop within 17 hundredths of a second, I think I have that set right. I don't know. You can comment down below. But let's start diving down. So again, Pipper... All right, those bombs are definitely gonna go more left. So at least I got something. I didn't approach that right, cause the Shulka, see if I came at this angle, I would have had a better chance of hitting more targets. I definitely wanna make sure I get rid of that Shulka though. The key is definitely take your time. It's, it might be nerve-wracking the fact that the Shulkas are going to look right at you and they're going to want to shoot at you, clearly. So right there. All right, bombs away. Oh, perfect. I actually hit both the barracks and... The Shulka, nice. I can actually hit that truck right there, just closest to me, with guns. I think that's what we'll do. I think that Shulka is off to my right here. I think it's that right there. Yep, there he is. He just shot at me. I'm just try to burst right at this truck here before. Oh, tank shooting at me. There you go. Truck gone. Out. All right, I think I'm okay. Nice, I'm actually really happy I got the Shulka in the barracks there on my last cluster bomb. I know the Shulka that just shot at me over here. There's got to be a truck there. But because I only have guns and air-to-air -air missiles now, we're just going to, again, RTB. Maybe we'll do some other type of payload. Maybe I'll actually use the Shrike. I think that's how you pronounce it, the Shrikes. The uh, air-to-ground harm type missiles. An early, 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 early uh, model of the trikes i'll just show you them just to see how they generally work they're not very accurate i'll tell you that much right now you're going to want to have to be very effective you're going to want a squadron of a4s with each firing four <laughs> to be effective because apparently the rumor goes it's like out of like during the vietnam war it's like a 20 percent chance that a 20 25 percent chance that the the strikes would actually like hit their target and it shows in this game too which is great which is just a nice thing to like show the uh realistic feel of how these weapons work <laughs> but you shoot them and it's great to shoot them but then knowing that the missile like lands like two feet a couple of hundred couple of hundred feet away from its target it's like ah, really but we'll just show them why not <laughs> let's let's just show them so what we actually have to do, though, which is a little tricky, we have to actually make sure the 
Shulka its radar is actually on because that's how harms work. They lock onto radar when the radar is active. If the radars are off, the harms will not see it. It's, you know, still, that's how that works in today's world with the, the current harms. As far as I know, unless they've got some crazy top secret weapon that, you know, fixes that, which I'm sure they do. But they ain't going to share that information with me. So, I'm going to think that the Shulka here, I haven't attacked this base right in front of me, so I think the Shulka, I'm not sure which one it actually is, but I'm sure there's a Shulka in here. I just need him to turn on his radar. Actually, he's this guy off to the far right. Come on, turn on your radar. I think I was way too close. Yeah, way too close. But it got a lock. It locked on. It just, I was way too close. right next to it so yeah that's generally the idea of like what you get out of these uh, these harms <laughs> they just they they're so close I probably did some damage to him but clearly not enough what I'll do now is since I have those 3,000 pound bombs I'll just uh, drop them right onto that that uh, camp right there where is it again there it is right by that T intersection Go right in between these two guys here. So right there. All right, those bombs are definitely gonna go left. I was. Yep, there they go. So it looks like I got two vehicles. Oh, I got a truck too. <laughs> got the barracks. I didn't get the Shulka, but I got two vehicles there. Well, three vehicles total. In the barracks, so I'm 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 happy with that. I do remember though uh, something that's great that they added. It wasn't during uh, my first video of the A4, but shortly after I released that video, they actually added a script into the server where there was a bigger uh, explosion, like a bigger splash damage. So you know, you drop a 2,000 pound bomb, it would react a little bit more like an actual 2,000 pound bomb. Maybe I can get the shulker with the gun here. It's a little tricky. I'll drop chaff and flare to. Oh, I got him. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I got him, though. There he is. I got you, you little bastard. Egg 19. Oh, my God. He's, like, right behind me. He's right behind me. I might just drop my... Yeah, there he is. He's on my six. Yeah, he sees me. I'm actually going to drop my gun pod just to give me some, you know, take off some weight. We'll get the missiles ready. Wow, that is super loud. I already know I lost visual of them. One nine. Oh, there's the frog foot right there. Maybe that's what I was looking at. Can I take care of him? Where's this MiG-19? I'm gonna die. I know I'm gonna die. Oh, he's attacking our factory? Fox 2. Splash. Alright, he's gone.
I want to know where this MiG-19 is. MiG-19, 320. He's about six miles, so he's got some distance away from me. Maybe he broke off, maybe he lost sight of me. Yeah, it's always just so hard to find targets. They always seem to find me. I, I'm recording this, I mean, I have my settings at 2K, so the higher the resolution, the harder it is to actually spot targets. Oh, there he is, I see him now. Oh, he sees me now, because he's turning with me. All he has to do is just generally just climb. Oh, what's he doing? Maybe he doesn't see me? Box two. I don't think those are going to track very well. Yeah, those are two high aspect. Just got to get more speed. Oh, this might be it, actually. How am I not getting lock? Oh, I got a saber, though, in the friendly. Saber chasing the 19, you on comms? Oh, he just missed. I'm on your six and an A4. He's all yours. Although I lost you guys in the cloud. Who's this? Is this him? Nope, that's the Saber. Still got visual? Oh, he's chasing him still. He's still on him. Come on, Saber, you got this. Saber, break off if you can. I have a shot. Box two. Missed. Oh, this is it right here. Oh, did that track? Oh, it's tracking. Splash MiG-19. Thanks for the help on RTV. All right. I think that's I think that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, yeah. Let me know. I I've really enjoyed I've really enjoyed this aircraft more now ever since I got back to onto it because it's been months since I played this on this aircraft. I've flown this aircraft literally on my first video, and after that, I just waited making other videos of other aircraft but flying this one a lot more fun if you want to see some other videos with the a4 just let me know the, uh, let me know in the description below check me out on uh, discord pretty active on the all the communication and all that let me know what you guys want to see specifically maybe you do want to see more successful uh, harm missiles maybe I can try to get like a squadron to just attack an air base of some sort uh, maybe you want to see more air-to-air -air combat I would love to try to be more accurate with my guns but you know, that takes more time. But yeah, pretty much it. All right. Peace out, everyone.